Hey there folks, Patrick Stewart. Thank you so much for tuning back into my channel. We've been following my friend John, watching Star Wars for the first time in his life and coming up on 26 years of friendship. Tonight, we get into the long-awaited, at least for me and my crew, Mandalorian Season 2, which I have not watched at all. That way myself and John and Jason can all watch it at the same time together for the first time. So before we go any further, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, give us that like, subscribe for future content, turn on that notification bell so you know when these videos drop. First up, usually the guy behind the camera, we're going to bring in Jason Mapp. Come on, dude. What's up? All right, Jason. I know uh, you haven't seen it. No, I've been waiting on John. Waiting on John? Yeah. All right, so what, what are you expecting? I, I'm Awesomeness. Awesomeness, yeah. Awesomeness. We're going to find out baby Steve's name, I think. Uh, yeah, that's what I, I've kind of been hinted at you know on the internet so. so someone told me his name is Gugu we're gonna find out Gugu uh, well of course it wouldn't be my friend John watches without John Man, that's a nice shirt John yeah nice shirt nice, nice shirt. shirt nice shirt nice shirt, nice shirt. Nice shirt. Yeah. so you started this thing off with us like what about six months ago yep and you watched Rogue One your first Star Wars film ever yeah got through the original trilogy yep got through the prequels yep and uh, you, you saw Solo um, the Han Solo film. We'll just say I did. You you, you saw it. You weren't too kinda. impressed with it. Kind of. Kind of. You might have slept <laughs> through half of that one. Then we got into Mandalorian. We put the sequel trilogy on pause until we could get into the Mandalorian. And thus far, the highest ratings John has given has been to Mandalorian. The thing that I am excited about the most is getting to the end of season two. Because I've heard enough about what's going to happen at the end. Uh, I'm gonna spoil it for y'all. I mean, it, it hasn't really been spoiled for me, but I've heard some rumors. It's hard to miss all the spoilers. We put this off for way too long. We did. Jason, yeah. what is the thing you're looking forward to the most about season two? So evidently, Funko Pop has come out with some collectible Funko Pop pins. This is new on me, but evidently, uh, people that are into Funko Pop and into Star Wars know about these things. And I've actually got the whole collection of well, this particular collection, one through four, with the Han Solo and Greedo, Darth Vader and Leia. Well, there is evidently what's called a chase in each collection, which is a more rare version of one of them. And the chase in this collection is the glittery green Greedo. Yeah, see the difference there. So the reason I bring this up, the last Patreon giveaway that we did was the Darth Vader metal sign that went to Matt C. This item right here, the chase out of this collection, is going to be the next Patreon giveaway. So if you're on Patreon, you're automatically entered in. Each tier on Patreon is an extra drawing, and we'll keep you posted. It's going to go through at least the end of the month. Um, I'm going to say probably all the way till we finish Mando Season 2, and we'll get that done. Anyway, check me out on Patreon. Consider supporting me that way. Everything on Patreon goes right back into the production of these videos. No. It's intermission. Yep. <laughs> this is not the way. <laughs> I'm not going to belabor it too much. We really don't have much to talk about because none of us have ever seen Mando Season 2. This is going to be new for me, new for you, new for you. It's new for all of us. We're all going to be sitting here just, just like eating our popcorn. Oh my goodness. Or Zots. Yeah, Zots. What have you done to me? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. That's it. We good? We're we going to get nerdy with it? Let's get nerdy with it. Nerdy. All right. This is the way. You guys feel free to uh, punch me right in the junk if you see me falling asleep. Yeah, we gotta edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the camera was coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, oh wow, I didn't know this. So the chapters keep going. Like season one, it ended with episode eight. They call it chapter eight. Oh. The chapters keep going. Now we're on chapter nine. The Marshal. The Marshal. The Marshal. Marshal. All right. I kind of want to look at the names, but I'm no, 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 no. Don't do it. Yeah, let's just. Chapter nine. It could Marshall. be spoilers. Yeah, it could be. I'm gonna let the recap go. Unless you don't want to watch. No, it. go ahead. Yeah, let it, go. let it go. I need a good recap. You need a good decal. When one chooses to walk the way of the Mandalore, by creed it is in your care. You must reunite it with its own kind. Take care of this little one. This is the way.
fit up to chance. Nor am I. <laughs> that wouldn't work there. by his hand. Yeah, well, since he said that, I was like, yeah, that dude's dead. Come here, you little womp rat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it remembers me. How much do you want for it? Just kidding, but not really. And trust me, I've seen all shapes and sizes in this town. Armour has sent me on my path. If I can locate another of my kind. R5, bring the map and tell me. Now take your time, seriously. <laughs> this definitely has a western vibe. Oh, yeah. Ooh. What brings you here, stranger? I don't think that's a real man, though. You don't think so? No. Ooh. That is Boba Fett's helmet. Is that? Her stories. That's Timothy Elefante, isn't it? I'm Cobb Vant, Marshal of Mos Pelgo. Where did you get the armor? Bought off some jobs. Hand it over. Take it off. Or I will. We gonna do this in front of the kid? You seem worse. <laughs> right here, then? Right here. Dude. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh man. Help me kill it, I'll give you the armor. Yeah. I believe that is. That is a piece of a pot racer. Yes. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? He's Dr. Doolittle now. <laughs> <laughs> like a dog. Mm -hmm. They want to kill the Cray Dragon too. <laughs> Already cooked. It well earned. It was my pleasure. I hope our pass cost me. Uh oh. And that's oh, Boba Fett. That's Boba Fett. That's Boba Fett. <laughs> he wants that armor back. 
technically he never willingly removed his armor, nor had anyone take it off, because he got digested in the Sarlacc. That, that opening was like hardcore. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Let's do it, one more. We're starting episode three. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Spoilers. spoilers, spoilers. Close your eyes, everybody close your eyes. <laughs> Don't look. It's good to see Timothy Oliphant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ironic that he was, yeah. he would be there because he thought it was him. Let's get recap. <laughs> Steve. Did he fall out the hole? Yeah. Oh no. Hugger. Oh, those are eggs. That means mama's gonna be mad. Yeah. Oh no. Steve, what'd you do? How many eggs? How many are floating in the water? Come mm -hmm. on. Yeah, it's time to go. Uh oh. I was thinking that. Harry Potter. This is a face over. Oh, really? Thank you. 
security records show that you apprehended three priority culprits from the London Register. Am I under arrest? Technically, you should be, but these are trying times. Wake me up if someone shoots at us, but that door gets sucked off its rails. <laughs> 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 That's horrible, baby Steve. <laughs> there you go. Wow. There you go. So we just got through the first two episodes of season two of Mandalorian. It's brand new for me. It was brand new for John and Jason as well. Really enjoying this. Can't wait to see where this goes. Uh, it left me hanging on Boba Fett. Anyway, I want to bring the guys in on this this discussion because it's it's new for all of us. Well, I don't have any insight into this that, that they don't have either, so let's go. Come on. First two episodes, season two of Mandalorian, brand new for him, him, me, brand new for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Um, so good. It, it did not disappoint. Right now, i got to say between the two episodes, I think number one was my favorite. I agree. Yeah, I definitely agree. Now, what were you telling me about Timothy Oliphant? It was ironic that he, he was in episode one of this season, because I originally thought he was playing the Mandalorian when I first started watching episode one, season one. Really? Just going by the voice, I thought it was his voice. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I don't remember hearing that this is the way anywhere going on in there. In either yeah. episode. Yeah. No, I, I was really, uh, I was looking forward to hearing that. Yeah, because I mean, we got a merch out, we were so excited, we were waiting yeah. to chime in on a this is the way and... Didn't uh, get to do this is the way. I don't know. I, I thought he came out strong in episode one. That was a bad A Mando. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That, that opening was just okay. That's that's what we're gonna do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now episode two. It was okay. I thought it was okay. Um, just it didn't really pick up until the end. I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Felt like a watching an aliens movie. Yeah. Yeah. Waiting for the face huggers to come out and. And uh, I, I guess evidently, you know, Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes Back, Yoda, you know, he was always wanting to eat. <laughs> I guess it just runs in his species, man, because baby Steve was like bowing down. Yeah, he was. He, he, kept, he kept stealing that woman's eggs. I'd like to know how many he actually ate. Yeah, well, we saw him eat, what, like five? Yeah, five or six. Yeah. <laughs> and, and no shame either. No shame. Mm -hmm. She's over there holding her eggs, and he's just like <laughs> looking at the camera like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to rate them individually as episodes. Yeah. So episode one, I'm going to give it about an eight. Give it about an eight. Maybe an eight and a half, but I'm going to give it an eight. Episode, episode two, for me, was like a seven. I, re I really didn't enjoy episode two, but that's kind of how it goes with TV shows. Right. They really hit you with some awesome information in one episode, and then they just kind of give you a filler episode for the next one. It's, I felt like it was a filler episode. Yeah. Like, like we yeah. could have done without it. We didn't need it. No, it was unnecessary. Not at all. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was cool that they tied in the X-Wings and, and all that and mm -hmm. kind of gave us a recap by them talking to them, but I, I felt like it was unnecessary. Yeah, I agree. I give the first one an 8 and okay. give the second one a 7. All right, we're on the same page. So I would give the first one probably an 8.5 just because of that opening. Yeah. Um, and, and then probably I'm going to go a little lower. I'm going to say the second one probably a 6. Yeah, I didn't really enjoy the second one that much. I just... I didn't. I'm not saying it was bad. No, I'm not saying bad. it was bad. It was no, good. Not at all. It was good. It was, good. It was yeah. very good. Just compared to the first one. Yeah. So I, I think the next one we're going to, you know, probably pick back up again. Oh, yeah. But I, I'm excited to see where it's going. We were hoping we could try to get four of these knocked out, but just with our schedules, we're literally filming these at night on work nights and having to get up early in the morning. I know I'm putting in sometimes 70 hours a week. This guy's 60 hours a week. See what? 50. 50. So, yeah, we're, we're working a lot. So we're filming these late after the kids go to bed. So bear with us. We're going to give you at least two with every one of these filming. We're going to try to get to where we can do four at a time. But thank you so much for tuning in with us. Uh, this is uncharted territory. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm loving it. Yeah. I, I'm glad that I waited to watch it with you guys. Yeah, I am. I, I'm curious. Uh, now I'm curious. I was telling Jason between episode one and two, one of the Star Wars books I read was a trilogy of Boba Fett and it tells you how he escapes from the Sarlacc. So I'm interested to see if they're going to tap into old canon or not, you know, from the extended universe. It's going to be kind of cool. But, and I hope, and I think we will, because we've seen recurring characters come back from season one, mm -hmm. I hope we're going to see Timothy Oliphant come back. I hope so as well. 
Yeah. yeah. I thought he did a really good job as the marshal. Oh, yeah. And he, and he willingly gave the armor up. Mm -hmm. got a <laughs> I think Mando's got a new ally. Yeah, I think so. I think we can work something out. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Folks, name's Patrick Stewart. Thank you again so much for tuning back into our channel. It's my buddy John, my buddy Jason. I guess we can't call this my friend John watches. It's, it's really all of us watch at this point. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and remember to uh, stay nerdy with it. Stay nerdy with it. Mm -hmm.